So someone asked me um, in the comments section how I was using the Express Key Remote with the Huion devices, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Right, so straight away we can see that um, I've already got the Wacom drivers installed, okay? So you can install Wacom drivers uh, with no Cintiq or anything like that, and it's going to work just fine. Once you plug in the USB um, dongle for the Express Key remote and it's charged, you're going to be good to go and you're going to be able to set your shortcuts and everything like that. And that's the first step to getting this to work. So no Huion drivers installed. We just have Wacom stuff ready to go. We have our Express Key remote configured. And at this point, we should probably take a system restore just in case anything goes wrong. Set up the Express Key remote with all the shortcuts and such, you know, can can be take a little work. So we want to make sure that uh, we back up that config before we start messing around with anything else. Okay, you can back this up anywhere you want. Very nice, and then we're good. And once our system restore is done and we've got our, our Express Key remote shortcuts and everything backed up, uh, it's time to install the Huion drivers, but there's still one more step we wanna do just to make sure uh, nothing goes wrong. So first of all, if you do have any kind of Cintiq, you know, for example, maybe you have the smaller Cintiq and the larger Huion or, or vice versa, whatever it is, unplug the USB, uh, cord from the whatever the Wacom device is from the back of your PC or laptop. So that's that's the first thing, right? The next thing we want to do is we're going to go into Windows or I don't have a Mac, but I assume there's some kind of service and we're going to stop this service. Okay, so at that point, this thing is like asleep. You know, it's not going to see uh, your Express Key remote. It's not going to see anything, right? So... Now, we can go ahead and install the Huion tablet driver. Okay, I'm gonna run this as administrator just because that's what I do. And you'll see, I already have it installed, so it's gonna say, do you wanna uninstall it? I'm not gonna do that now because the driver is straightforward and I've already gone through it in other videos. Okay, now before we uh, actually turn the Wacom uh, service back on, what we want to do is we want to check for uh, functionality, right? We want to make sure everything's working okay. So we don't need much. Uh, we just need to make sure the pen is working, right? Everything seems okay, and that's fantastic. So we're going to go back into services. We are going to start Wacom Professional Service back up, okay? It's probably the last time we need that. We should be good to go. So taking the remote, and I'm gonna to try to do this with my right hand because of the camera. Uh, this is really quick, right? So I'm gonna take the express key remote and rotate the screen. You can see everything is working just fine, but the one thing is uh, in testing, I actually made that brush size super, super huge. So the screen capture, um, I'm sure captured me making the brush size small and bigger. And we can see that again, it works just fine. We'll go to the tablet properties. You see that launches, you know, just fine alongside the Huion tablet driver, okay? And then you can go into your applications and such and either configure additional application shortcuts or just verify the ones that you have. Now, if anything goes wrong, you have a couple things here. The first thing you should do is go back to your system restore, assuming that the Huion device has never been installed. If the Huion device has been installed previously, or um, you're trying to get this to work, the, the biggest caveat, the biggest problem is that the Wacom drivers have to be installed first. So that's the kind of bummer in this whole thing. Um, meaning you can't really retain your Huion configuration, I guess, except, you know, if you follow this channel, we know that you can you know, we can back this stuff up and, and back up your 
you know, your short, your express keys and all that other stuff. So you can kind of do the, the reverse, right? You can export or, or export your settings into a file. You can uninstall the driver, then install your Wacom, you know, reboot. You know, anytime you're changing drivers, especially with a pen display, uh, you want all drawing software, you know, closed. I know I, you know, I have a couple things open, but that's because I had it installed already. So you want to pull the drivers out. You want to do a fresh reboot, install new drivers, right? So if you have Huion already, you buy the Express Key remote because you like it. You're going to have to back up your settings. You're going to have to uninstall the drivers, reboot, install Wacom drivers clean, uh, configure your Express Key remote. I would do it without shortcuts at that point just to make sure everything works. Um, and then just follow the instructions in this video and you should be okay. So everyone knows how much I love the Express Key remote and to use that with my Huion devices is a win-win. So if you like this kind of content, uh, please subscribe, like, comment below. Uh, hit that little bell so you're notified. I mean, every little bit, you know, helps folks. I, I got a rubber band holding my, my pop filter on my mic, for God's sake. So if you could help me out, I really appreciate it. And I'll check you guys out in the next one.